Hello, welcome to the Blender Switch Live Trading. In this episode, I'll be testing out a new node called Attribute Transfer. So let's get started. So the easiest one to try is probably using a grid, and we can subdivide it and subdivide it all the time. And then I'll do like a vertex painting. And by default, this white color over there. Just gonna like random color and the idea is uh, I want to colorize the instance geometry using that color so we're gonna transfer the color um, of the instance uh, using the vertex color of this guy so this guy has already have vertex color it's called call so in theory I can use geometry nodes to transfer the color. So I've been waiting for such features. So first of all, we want to point distribute a bunch of objects, which is this guy over here. Okay, so file, save as, just in case. So attribute transfer and we want to use attribute transfer node and we're gonna try to transfer the the color data. Let's also turn uh, check it out on the spreadsheet. So we we have the original geometry that we sourced and this is the final geometry so I believe okay we can use the color and transfer it into something called just blah the domain I think it says position I just change it to the domain into point. I believe it will already transfer. So if I create a material, set it to object, and let's check it out under the shader. Let's hope, uh, let's hope that this works. I switch to cycles and there you go. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit tricky uh, to understand at first, but it does actually work. So if we go back to our grid. If we do like vertex painting, okay. So let's try uh, paint, paint a set vertex color, okay, yellow color, and we can use Okay, whatever. This should reflect on our queue. <clears throat> and you can see if I increase the, the density, the color transfers into our boxes. So if you have like a point cloud or some sort of, yeah, you can instance the point cloud and get the color from the nearest points. <clears throat> So let's see, okay, this auto points, it just, you see, okay, this is interesting. We can use the face, we can use point, face or face corner, 
face is actually interesting. You can see it's, it's more like a pixelated. <clears throat> this means like if you have like yeah like a point cloud, uh, you do like a scanning of point clouds. You can instance the boxes and then you can transfer the point positions into the objects this way. Yeah. So I think that's pre pretty much what it is for now. You can of course do more. It's, it's transferring the color. So this color, I think we can use color RAM. Attribute color RAM. Okay. So we can manipulate the attributes like this blur. We can just manipulate it. So based on the grayscale value, we can change the color, for example. Something like that. You got the idea, but it's more like uh, transferring attributes. And I think this is useful for a lot of things. I can't think of anything at the moment. But yeah, but just give it a try. Um, with point cloud and let's see what we can come up with. All right. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye